Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about a judge in Kentucky and uh, what that can tell us about a lot of uh, politicians we find in D.C. and kind of wonder why they're still there. So, a judge named Julie Halls Gordon was removed from her judgeship by the Judicial Conduct Commission, unanimous decision back in April, two months ago. She was removed for what they called repeated and systemic abuse of power. Uh, and they said that that pattern occurred over her entire tenure as judge. Even though she was removed two months ago, she'll be on the ballot. Um, it's happening in Davis County, Kentucky, which is, uh, that's spelled Davies, if you're going to look it up. And what happened is they had one family judge, and now a second position has opened. And basically, anybody who fills out the paperwork is going to be on the ballot. Now, being removed for abuse of power, that seems like something that would bar you from future office. However, in Kentucky, that's not how it works. And to change it, you would need a constitutional amendment. Um, and the, the only ways that she could really be barred from future office is by an act of the General Assembly or if like, she lost her law license. But there's uh, a lot of concern that she might get elected because of name recognition, solely based on that fact. If she is on the ballot and people recognize her name and a whole lot of other people are on the ballot because anybody who files will be on it, she may end up uh, coming out on top. This phenomenon of uh, name recognition really mattering in elections, it, it's debated to the degree of uh, how important it is. But nobody debates whether or not it's important. For a lot of politicians, this is how they stay in office. That name recognition. That's why incumbents are harder to beat because people know them. Sometimes it's, you know, the devil you know, and sometimes it's just a matter of the voters not being informed about the candidates and just going off of the name that, well, seems familiar. We're going to see exactly how, uh, how important name recognition is here. Um, if she wins, <laughs> that's a, a pretty clear sign that name recognition is, is incredibly important and maybe more important than a lot of people give it credit for. Um, now, people have asked, like, what's going to happen if she is elected to the new judgeship? I honestly don't know. Um... I'm not sure uh, uh, in how it works in Kentucky as to whether or not the assembly could remove her from a different office for acts she committed, you know, in the first judgeship. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. Um, it is definitely going to uh, end up being a unique legal situation up there that will eventually probably make national news. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.